Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Top 5 New Comics for May 10th and 11th of 2022. I am, as always, Chris. Remember, everybody, to subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and smash that like button. Thank you all so much. Let's talk about some comics, starting with Jurassic League number one. This is written by Daniel Warren Johnson with art by Juan Gedeon. Jurassic League number one. I mean, do I have to say a whole lot about this? It's the Justice League, except they're dinosaurs. I mean, seems pretty self-explanatory there. But uh, I always enjoy Dan Warren Johnson's storytelling. I'll be interested to see. He tends to... He always draws his own stories. I, I could be wrong about this, but it would be the first time I've experienced him writing and not drawing. Um, I believe it's the first time he's ever wrote and not drawn. Uh, and I'll be interested to see how he translates that way. Uh, sometimes people make that transition, don't do it very well. Some people exceed at it. We'll see. But uh, I am really looking forward to this and seeing how he pulls this one together. After that, we've got Hulk versus Thor. Banner of War Alpha number one. This is written by Donnie Cates with art by Martin Coccolo. Banner of War. So big crossover between Hulk and Thor. Both books that Donnie is writing. We got the little tease at the end of Last Issue of Hulk. We got kind of a tiny bit of a prelude in uh, Last Issue of Thor. But I... It's always a fun crossover when these two fight. I like that Donnie's the one writing both books, and now he's doing the little crossover event with them as well. It should be just a lot of fun. Both these books individually have been phenomenal, so let's hope they're phenomenal together as well. Uh, Donnie A+, plus at everything he does, I don't see why it wouldn't be. After that... I've got Captain America, Symbol of Truth, number one. This is written by Tochi Anabuchi with art by R.B. Silva. Captain America, Symbol of Truth. So we had Captain America number zero, which was both Steve's story and Sam's story together, kind of introducing the new status quo for Cap, that being that there's two of them now. And uh, this is the first issue in the Symbol of Truth series. That stars Sam Wilson as Captain America. I, w I really enjoyed Sam as Cap when he was introduced a little while back. Uh, I'm looking forward to him in the movie space as well, getting that shot. I really liked uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, the big reveal at the last, uh, last episode was great. So I, I am looking forward to that. And we'll just see uh, how much different is Sam now than he was then. Um, what's kind of what's going to be the dichotomy between him and him and Steve today? There's a lot of cool things, and we got a, a newcomer writer. Um, I mean, he's newcomer to comics. He's been around novels and other things for a long time. He's done some little things here and there, like Black Panther Legends, uh, but. To my knowledge, is his first foray in like an ongoing big two book. So we'll see how that one comes out. I'm really looking forward to it. And after that, I got Crossover number 13. This is written once again by Donnie Cates with art by Jeff Shaw. So this is the last issue ever. No, this is the last issue um, of this story arc from... Well, we've been told there's going to be more. Uh, they're obviously playing it up a little bit that there's nothing solicited after this. This is the grand finale. We do know that there's a crossover 3D special coming. I don't know if that's going to be a reprint or something new or what it's going to be. But I'm really, really enjoying this book, and I really hope this isn't the end because it's just so phenomenal. It's such a great idea, a great story great characters, everything about it. This is kind of, to me, one of those books that proves what comics can be once you get into the, the ecosystem and into the, the world of 
comics and see great things like this. Love this book. Hopefully, I wouldn't put it past Donnie and a number 13, but hopefully it's not the end. And we're going to end with 8 Billion Genies number one. This is written by Charles Soule with art by Ryan Brown. So first and foremost, this is the team that brought us Curse Words, a book I really, really enjoyed. And they got a new series, an eight-issue series here that asks, what if everybody in the world at the same time had one wish with their own unique genie, and they all came true at the same time? Well, obviously, it would be insanity, and that's what this book is. So... I love Ryan's art in Curse Words. It was just so fun and unique and inventive. Hopefully that translates to this book as well. And I've just always been a big fan of Charles Soul. I like what he's doing in Star Wars. I liked his novels, what he did with Curse Words, obviously, Daredevil, so on, so on, so on. So he's got me for life, at least for the issue one. And I think it's a cool premise as well. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And I like that there's a curse words variant cover as well for this uh just phenomenal stuff so everybody thanks so much for watching remember to check out the podcast fortress comic news where every week we talk about the comic news we interview comic creators all that kind of fun stuff i appreciate you guys check that out so check that as i said at the beginning like subscribe share comment down below and i'll see you all here next week